First, a quick administrative announcement. Two TikTokers have cloned my account. That means they've stolen my picture, my bio, my name, and some videos. They're sending messages to my followers asking for money. That is not me. If you get a message like that, please report them to TikTok. Satan has corrupt Bibles. I'm making a series of videos focusing on select corrupt Bible verses. Now, I've already done video 218, 220, 221, 222, and 223. I will focus specifically on corrupt Bible verses that false teachers use and can use to teach people how to go to hell. Now, here's an important point about these Bibles. They are not worthless Bibles. In fact, 99% of what is in these Bibles is basically true. There's about 1% or less corruption. The corruption will vary because some Bibles are more corrupt than others. I have used these corrupt Bibles to lead people to the Lord, and I know that there's many fine, outstanding Christians that use these Bibles. I have two objectives. First, for these people who use these Bibles, I just want to make them aware of these very corrupt verses. And also, I want to keep people out of hell. I want to warn people about these verses. I think you would believe that is a worthy goal. Now, who is responsible for the corruption of the Word of God? It's Satan. We see him at Genesis chapter 3 for the first time. He's lying to Eve about the Word of God. He's corrupting the Word of God at that time, and he's still corrupting the Word of God. How does Satan corrupt the Word of God? He uses people. Satan has human ministers. Please take a look at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 through 15. Paul tells us in his day there were people who were corrupting the Word of God. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 17. In the late 1700s, early 1800s, Satan got quite a few people deceived about the reliability of the Word of God. Uh, this is called higher criticism. In reality, in my opinion, it really was liberal criticism. Now, the result of this liberalism was an official Bible translation by an official ecclesiastical body, the Anglican Church, the Church of England. They created the English Revised Version in 1881, the Old Testament, and then in 1884, the New Testament. Since 1881, there have been over 200 modern liberal uh, Bible translations, over 200 since 1881. I told you earlier that Paul, at 2 Corinthians 2.17, stated that the Word of God was being corrupted in his time. Several hundred years after Paul, two handwritten Greek manuscripts were created of the Bible. Those manuscripts were called Vaticanus and Synodicus. Both of them are very corrupt. There's thousands of differences between those uh, Bible manuscripts. One scholar has described them as depraved. Now, if you talk to your typical seminary graduate of the day, he'll probably tell you that Vaticanus and Synodicus are the two best manuscripts. That is how bad Satan has corrupted the seminaries. Now, this corruption in those two manuscripts, the Vaticanus and Synodicus, were recognized by the King James translators as corruption and not used in the King James Bible translation. However, these corruptions have been incorporated into the modern Bibles that have been published since 1881. Now, since 1992, I have read over 125 books on how we got our English Bibles and this corruption issue. Two books that I highly recommend if you want to get more knowledgeable on this issue is New Age Bible Versions by Gail Ripplinger. It's over 700 pages, first published in 1993. That's when I read it. If you get that book, it's been updated. Get the 2021 version. Also, I recommend Let's Weigh the Evidence by Barry Burton. It's less than 100 pages, very easy reading. It explains this situation very simply. You can get it on Kindle. Both those books are on Amazon. Or if you want to call the Bible Baptist, Baptist Bookstore in Pensacola, Florida, the number is 850-477-8812. Now on to Isaiah chapter 14, 12 through 15. One of the objectives of Satan with corrupt verses 
these very corrupt verses is to diminish the status to diminish the status of Jesus so that lost people will not trust in Jesus for eternal life. Satan wants to downgrade the status of Jesus, make it look like he's a good man or a good teacher, but not the Son of God. For example, in video 218 at Matthew 522, I tell you about my encounter with a man in 1990. He refused to trust Jesus as his Savior because he used 522 to try to convince me that Jesus is a sinner. Now, we know Jesus is not a sinner, but in these corrupt uh, Bibles with the corrupt Bible verse at Matthew 522, it can be proved by these corrupt Bibles that Jesus is a sinner. Of course, he is not really a sinner, but these lost people think he is. Uh, when, when you downgrade and diminish Jesus, then these lost people will trust in something else. That lost person I was talking to was trusting in his good life. And I asked him, who showed you this? It was a false teacher. His priest specifically showed him that verse and got him not to trust in Jesus as his Savior. False teachers can cherry pick these corrupt verses and try to lead people into hell. Now, in this video, we're going to look at a very, very corrupt verse that greatly, greatly diminishes the status of Jesus. Now, who is the morning star of the Bible? We'll let Jesus tell us. At Revelation 22, 16, Jesus speaking, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Jesus is the morning star. And Jesus makes it very clear that he is the morning star. Now we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 14, 12 through 15. Please read those verses. I don't have time to read them all. Now this is Isaiah 14, 12 from the King James Bible. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Once again, Isaiah 14, 12 through 15 is about Lucifer. Nothing wrong with that verse. Now here is Isaiah 14, 12 from a corrupt Bible, and it's a corrupt verse, and it is a very, very corrupt verse. Here it is, Isaiah 14, 12, corrupted verse. Reminder that this verse is about Satan, the devil, Lucifer. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. In this very corrupt Bible verse, Satan has been designated the morning star. Now, we know that Jesus is the morning star of the Bible. Why did these translators take away Jesus' title of the morning star and give it to Satan in Isaiah 14, 12? I don't know, but I know this. This greatly diminishes the status of Jesus. It greatly has the potential to downgrade the status of Jesus in front of lost people. Now, a false teacher could use Isaiah 14, 12 through 15 to tell a lost person that's about Jesus. Now, lost people don't know anything about the Bible. That is a big wow. Now, I don't want to get into this, but New Age uh, teaching has Lucifer as the bright and mourning star. Look at how that really diminishes the status of Jesus. Now, I used to have a Bible that had morning star at Isaiah 14, 12. You know what I did it after I discovered it? I put it in the trash can. If your Bible has morning star at Isaiah 14, 12, you have an extremely corrupt Bible. That's really blasphemy against the Lord Jesus Christ to, to uh, give uh, Satan the title of the morning star. Now, lastly, I would like to review quickly how to have everlasting life. And I'm going to go to John 6, 47, Jesus speaking. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. You just simply put your faith, believe, trust in Jesus, him alone, and nothing else. For more details on that eternally important subject, please see my video, 152, pinned to the top of my page. My next video will be my last video on the corruption of Bibles, and I'm going to explain how these Bibles got corrupted.